Now, young people with HIV not only cope with constant medical treatment, they also confront the stigma associated with AIDS. Emily Eob talked with three teens living with HIV in South Africa. Every month is the same routine for Mongezi Sosibo. He comes to the Temba Little Clinic in Johannesburg to check his health, consult his doctor and get his medication. Mongezi found out he was HIV positive when he was still in high school. I thought I was going to die. There's something that happens when you, you, you discover that you're HIV positive. Your world uh, all of a sudden becomes small, you know. You just feel as though it's the end of the world. Then Sosibo says he felt guilty for his reckless lifestyle and for the mistakes he made that were now affecting his family and worrying his parents. I knew that I was the one who was you know, busy doing things that I shouldn't have been doing. So I, that's, that's what helped me to, to, to heal, that I didn't have anybody to blame but myself, you know. And then that helped me to say, you know what, now you've fallen, pick yourself up and stand up. Teenagers living with HIV face many challenges. The first one is being consistent with taking the medication at an age where consistency is hardly part of your daily life. Sometimes you go out, you know, with your friends and then you don't know how to take the medication because you're with them, you know, and yeah, it's, so sometimes you just get bored of it. The other main challenge is stigma. HIV AIDS is still perceived by many South Africans as a shameful disease. To help the teenagers, the Temba Little Clinic organizes a once a month support group for teens. This is where Sosibo met Lerato, which is not her real name. She is 17 years old and got the disease at birth through her mother and has not disclosed her status to her friends yet. At school there's a stigma and some of them they would make stupid comments, you know, saying like, Hi, they're going to die, these people. There's no there's no nothing they're going to live for because HIV will go to it's going to kill them. For 17-year-old Vanity Sefofu, who is also part of the support group, the virus has triggered the activist inside her. She wants to raise awareness about HIV AIDS. I don't have a problem like telling them and all that, discussing it with them, because I don't see a point of hiding it. Um, being positive doesn't mean that it's, um, you, you, you're going to die or something. You just have to get your medication like, and yeah, keep on taking the treatment and all that. So Sibo has also become an activist and tries to get the message across to his friends. I don't want to bombard them with, you know, I don't want them to see me and then see, oh, this guy is going to talk about HIV. But every time when we talk, I ensure that, you know, I, I hint, you know, about protection. According to the World Health Organization, 3.4 million children in the world live with HIV AIDS. Emily Yab, for VON News, Johannesburg.